What is an oligopsony? A market with very few buyers, but many suppliers, is an oligopsony. Economists say that an oligopsony is a buyer's market. In this type of market, the few buyers are typically large and powerful. In an oligopsony, the buyers can exert considerable influence over their suppliers. In fact, they sometimes drive down prices to nearly unprofitable levels. There is not much the suppliers can do about it. Wall Street Mojo has the following definition of the term. Oligopsony is a market system where there are many sellers of a product or service and only a few eminent buyers. In Greek, the term oligo means few and opsonia means to purchase. So, in this system, only a few purchasers exist. These few powerful buyers control the market through their reach and scale. The opposite of an oligopsony is an oligopoly. In an oligopoly, there are very few suppliers, but lots of buyers. In this case, the suppliers have control of the market, which means they ultimately control prices. An oligopsony is one of various forms of imperfect competition. Others include monopolies, duopolies, and oligopolies. Perfect competition is when the number of suppliers and buyers is just right. It is a perfect balance. A monopoly is a market with just one seller of a particular product or service. When there are just two sellers, we call it a duopoly. In the beginning of the 20th century, Standard Oil enjoyed a monopoly in the American oil market. In the US and other advanced economies, there are a few giant buyers in the fast food industry and many suppliers. In this oligopsony, Burger King, McDonald's and some others control the meat market. The fast food corporations dictate terms when negotiating with farmers. Since the 1970s, major supermarkets have been gaining market share of the grocery market. Today, the retail grocery market is an oligopsony. Walmart, Costco and Kroger in the United States and Tesco, Sainsbury's and Asda in the UK are oligopsonistic grocery retailers. Barry Calibo, Cargill and Archer Daniels Midlands are by far the world's largest cocoa buyers. The global cocoa market is an oligopsony. There are few buyers and millions of suppliers, consisting mainly of farmers in third world countries.